there's currently a Halloween event going on, um, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to show people what it has to offer. Um, I haven't actually played it since before my wedding, in fact, uh, so probably going to be a bit rusty. Um, I don't really know much, if anything, about uh, the actual event itself, so I'm interested to hopefully it'll showcase some of the really great things about um, Secret World. Um, particular investigation missions, excellent. Really have to think there's uh, access to sort of the internet through the browser through the actual game, and you have to go and research things. Real life research that you have to go. That's how you do it. Um, it's really, really clever. I mean, infuriating and hard, but really clever. Right. Let's see. Well, uh, as you can see, I have my green eyes from one of the previous anniversary events. Uh, I'll have to remember how I'm set up. Let's see. Oh, fuck it out. Oh, no, was... All coming back to me now. There we go. So these are build up resources, like one uh, attack arc flash build up resources, which then allows me to utilize uh, other abilities. My health, so I'll probably read that. Oh, oh, kitty of elf. What the hell? Okay, I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before. Oh, yes, nice guy. Nice critical head there, built up. Oh, I seem to be smashing this thing. Balance again. It's all about building up, particularly after a critical build, and it's all about building up critical hits. As you can see here, this counter is actually building up um, chances that it means my next attack will be a critical hit. And ideally, you want to use something like uh, here, the 7 attack for multiple hits. So you go for each hit, actually critical, you see? And then builds the final critical. Oh, what the hell are these things? Shit, my health is ruined. There we go. Right, mark. Of this thing, damn kitty of Althar. Shit. I saw my talents. <sighs> right, I need to get out of here. What is this? Bag of. Ooh! Bag of tricks and treats. Bag. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, C brings it up. What B? B grabs everything. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna get out of here. Onto the road. As you can see from Blue Mountain, unfortunately, I don't know why, Blue Mountain is the only part of the game that isn't encoded very well. Um, and what it means is that everything's turned up full, but it ends up being a little bit sticky. Um, actually, it's not bad, I seem to have made it a little bit in the last patch, they fixed a little bit of it. Um, but the other areas of the game run really smooth for some reason Blue Mountain it just doesn't like uh, being run in DirectX 11 so hopefully we'll be able to run a bit better uh, all these here actually these are all sort of custom uh, menus that I've added in so you can see what you've got left in your inventory put my inventory up but you can see a lot of things, I have quite a few pets from the previous uh, from when they did the special anniversary uh, into a my little golem. You can sort of activate in my little pet golem. <laughs> um, so I've got a few different sort of uh, talismans and things which you can equip, which you can see here. Um, I'll see what it is. So with these, you get things go up from Q1 to Q10, and depending on obviously the high the level Q10 is the sort of best. Um, but you have to go to the Transylvania, there's like three areas of Solomon Island. Um, Egypt and uh, Transylvania, other three areas, and you have multiple areas within those. So I said, currently we're in the Blue Mountain, which is part of sort of Solomon Island. Uh, let's see, I've got my dressing room, what other things I've got. I'm actually currently wearing. Uh, let's see, okay, my sort of skill and ability wheels. 
the company I'm building up my ability because you get outfits depending on what sort of powers you unlock. You see, I only have to unlock the shotgun wedding to then equip this your deck. Decks are sort of your, uh, a better way of uh, seeing powers. Um, see, this one will actually I've almost have all of them. Uh, but let's see if I can show. Let's select none. Actually, let's see. Sort of one I can show. I've already got a polarizer. I'll put this outfit. Uh, the gunslinger, I do like the gunslinger one. Which is almost, you can see, it's almost sort of the build. I, I went for the, that was a sort of secondary build I sort of built up to. Um, as you can see, you start off with sort of starter decks, so it gives you an idea to sort of try and then you can sort of build towards one. I did build towards the this sort of th Thaumaturge, I believe that's it, right? Uh, which is a battle mage. Unfortunately, it doesn't, I don't quite have the, the sort of. Well, I'm not far off, but as you can see, my fish skill is 10, my blood's 10. So, how much as problems I can get, but it just doesn't quite gel as well as I find with the, my critical build I've got at the minute. So, you can actually get different uniforms. Uh, so, I'm sort of wearing my sort of mage, which I like the uniform, I like the eyes actually, really cool. um, which I got from the event, uh, the previous event. But you get different things uh, as you become, uh, I'm in the Illuminati, and as you rank up, you can see I'm sort of. Uh, you get different sort of costumes for that, but I'm quite happy with this at the moment. Um, let me show you faction battle ranks. There you go, see, a uh, maximum rank reached at the moment. But uh, I don't have any of the additional abilities. Uh, anyway, that's enough. Just sort of brief. I'll probably talk about things as I go through them. Um, you can actually have any combination of your abilities that you want. Uh, you've got the ability wheel here. As you can see, I have these things sort of equipped actives, which are active attacks and passives. You see, passives give abilities, so sort of like chain abilities, Tyler becomes afflicted with damage over time, so so that's a chain ability. That's a chain ability, so it's sort of if you try and merge it so you get into things, you can see chain abilities are about 5% more effective. But that's so it makes a character afflicted, that's then something that leads into afflicted, so everything sort of flows. That's my sort of build to critical attacks. Um, that's a uh, sort of afflicted uh, target, you trigger an attack, jumps up to 5 meters, so again, becomes afflicted, does additional damage. Um, so it's really useful. Um, so we'll deal. so that's uh, up to a point you get, does 25% more damage, um, if resource consumed, so there's really some really good, um, that's actually linked to my quantum weapon, which is this one, I haven't got any more yet, it's not the most powerful one, but I haven't been able to, I'm not powerful enough to go and pick up like things like the chainsaw and the rocket launcher just yet. So let's head off, let's see what we've got. Take my little, my little got on with me. And let's see the new ring. There, new new ring. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Came with some the of crossing into cold, dark months. On this threshold, something strange has gripped the town. Some force of presence is causing local cats to scream, rise, and claw at invisible curtains in the world. Madame Roger called, concerned that her cats and others may be under some supernatural influence that she has asked you to meet with her. So let's go and speak to Madame Roger. But I can probably pop the set up a little bit. It's just something that gets really loud in the game, so I just turned it down a bit. Radio music. There we go. So I'm sprinting on. And off I go. So I'm sprinting up the map. You see yourself running. So I'm actually back going the wrong way. So I want to head here. Go and meet Madame Roger. So I'll run up the road and I'll just show you a little bit. Oh, Blue Mountain. Blue Mountain is very hard when you get here when you first start playing the game. It is brutal. Um, <laughs> it's a strange, you almost aren't worth doing side missions. You're just trying to push through the story to go to the next area, to level up, to come back, do the side missions. It is really a hard, hard, hard area. And things. I hate these things. I fucking hate these things. Seriously, they're ridiculously powerful when you first come into the area and just wanting to die, die, everybody die, eat critical gun, you dick. Just seriously, it's 
so much hate. Ah, yes, so that's obviously critical aim. Oh, yes. I mean, this is, I mean, this is easy. I'm, like, high level now for this area. But still, just, oh, I hate those things so much. And there are some in the higher levels. Oh, I just really can't stand them. I see, depending on PvP, you do get a certain bonus, depending on. Uh, ah. Too bad for a solo build, to I'll probably try down different builds. Um, oh, I'm grab everything uh, later on. In fact, I don't think I even looked at what was in my. Did I open one? Oh, there they are. What did I get? Oh, can't use a gun. Made this for just increase your out of combat health and aggression. And crowd these crunchies. Boast all 22 flavors of the major arcana increases your edge of combat health regeneration. That's quite handy. You've got some sort of consumables here. It's sort of for uh, crafting. Sort of, um, you can add glyphs onto um, different weapons. These are sort of signets which only go onto Q10 weapons, which you get later on. And sort of the crafting. Because everything sort of builds. This is a sacred trinity rune, but you can build it up into a pure trinity rune, which can only then be uh, made from a weapon crafting kit like that. So good, well, it's for a gadget, for Q10 gadgets, but um, it's even more like Q5 gadgets. Well, they, they sort of do well enough, really. But anyway, I'm off to speak to Madame Roger. See my sort of, uh, inventory. I don't have a lot of space. See, coordinates are very important in the map as well. You can see this nice little add on shows me exactly where I am in the map. If you look at the bottom left hand corner, you can see the coordinates as well. It's actually useful. Oh, nice. It actually says uh, a card mission thing down there as well. Oh, no, 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 no. That's sort of, uh, sort of corrupted area. Um, you're thinking, oh, I'll just run over there, it's a shortcut, and just run, you know, shortest distance between two points, a straight line. <laughs> yeah, if you run through there, a lot of things attack you, and while I am a higher level, it's just gonna, oh, oh, no, god, Ugh, that was almost terrible. Um, it's just gonna cause a big pain. This is actually from over from, uh, you can time because any any event actually you can redo again, um, but there's a timer to it. Uh, this actual little mission timer lets you know if there's certain missions you want to do. If you're farming um, when they were available again, it's quite a nice handy little thing. It's nice, your sort of mission keeps. It's my story mission. You can see, uh, also you can sort of view finished missions. So this keeps track uh, of your missions, which is quite handy. And it is a nice it's sort of um there are diff three different factions, there's the Illuminati, um Templars and there is the oh fuck. There's the oh fuck, yes. There we go, build up my critical hits and oh, I was gonna show target them there we go. So I've got a sort of my side buttons in my mouse and I